Hello and welcome to the New Forest National Park. My name's Russell Wynne of Wild New Forest and today we're at the rather unglamorous location of the Lindhurst Wastewater Treatment Works about a kilometre or so down the road from Lindhurst in the very heart of the New Forest. The reason for coming here is we want to just raise awareness to the issue of sewage discharges into some of our fantastic New Forest rivers. Um, it's worth stating that Wild New Forest isn't a campaigning organisation but if we see first-hand observations of negative impacts on the New Forest habitats and wildlife uh, we will endeavour to raise awareness of that amongst the public and also engage with the relevant authorities to try and get something done about it. And this issue uh, of sewage discharges into rivers not just in the New Forest but nationally uh, is very topical right now. So let's go uh, 100 metres or so away and we're going to go and look at the discharge site from this works into the headwaters of the Beaulieu River. So I'm now at the uh, discharge site on the upper part of the Beaulieu River. Uh, you can see behind me nothing much happening today. That's because normally uh, all of the uh, wastewater and sewage that comes out from the Lindhurst catchment is treated uh, at the Lindhurst work, screened, processed, and then uh, the water is discharged into the Bartley River, which is a separate river system away to the east. However, during heavy rainfall and storm events uh, in emergency circumstances, the uh, untreated sewage and other uh, pollution uh, and wastewater is all discharged from here into the upper part of the Beaulieu River. So what we're going to do is take you back a couple of days during Storm Christoph, uh, which led to sustained heavy rainfall here in the New Forest. Obviously it caused um, flooding further north in the UK. Um, and we're going to show you what happens during the middle of one of these emergency discharge events um, at this location. So it's 2.30pm uh, on Wednesday the 20th of January 2021. Uh, and I'm at the discharge site for the Lindhurst Wastewater Treatment Works uh, looking at a combined sewer overflow discharge event into the headwaters of the uh, Beaulieu River. Hopefully you can clearly see that there's a very large volume of, of uh, liquid coming out into the Beaulieu River. Uh, you can clearly see the difference between the discharged uh, fluid that's this pallid grey colour and the natural peaty brown but quite clear waters of the, uh, of the Beaulieu River. Uh, the discharge material will contain untreated sewage effluent from all of the houses within the Lindhurst catchment, all of the grey water from those houses uh, and also all of the uh, water that's flowing off of the roads and pavements uh, and picking up all of the chemical pollutants from cars uh, and such like. All of that material is now entering the upper part of the Beaulieu River. It will be flowing all the way through that river system uh, several kilometres uh, until it reaches the Solent coast. There it will enter the Solent and then uh, enter the, uh, the open sea. So I've just sampled some of the discharging water uh, using a couple of uh, quick test kits kindly supplied by the Freshwater Habitats Trust. Uh, the one in the foreground uh, was measuring nitrate and the one in the background was measuring phosphate. And for nitrate, once you've sampled the water, you leave it to undergo a chemical reaction for three minutes uh, and for phosphate for five minutes. Uh, they've both been done and I think it, you can see quite clearly that there's a bright pink and, and purple colour respectively uh, that both of the samples are showing. This indicates that both samples are uh, high, the first one in nitrate uh, and the one behind in uh, phosphate. So I've just taken another couple of samples for nitrate and phosphate about 50 metres upstream of the discharge site um, and you can see that uh, both of the nitrate in the foreground and, and phosphate in the background there uh, are both giving very uh, low signals uh, or no signals effectively. The slight discoloration is just the PT uh, colour of the uh, water naturally. So what this is telling me is that there's no nitrate or phosphate to any significant degree in the natural waters above the discharge site even though we've had this very high rainfall event um, over the last 24, 36 hours because of Storm Christoph. So as with all of the new forest rivers and streams uh, upstream of the discharge site, this is a really clean uh, natural water body um, just as it should be. So the discharging flow is easing off now, but you can still uh, see very clearly the contrast between the discharge fluid, which is the pallid grey colour against the, uh, the far bank, uh, and then the uh, natural sort of peaty brown colour of the stream in the, in the foreground. So it's a couple of days after the discharge event and uh, I've come about a mile or so downstream from the discharge site to a lovely location called Long Water Lawn on the Beaulieu River. You can see the river and some of the bankside alder trees behind me here. It's a beautiful morning, Storm Christoph feels like a, a very distant memory. Uh, I've been hearing woodlarks singing and, uh, and it's a fantastic sunny, sunny day. 
And the reason for coming here is to show you that this part of the river was uh, restored a few years ago uh, and that means that its natural meandering uh, course was reinstated and a consequence of that is that the river is very much better connected to this floodplain, this lawn around me. So when you get these high rainfall events, the river overtops its banks and you get water coming all the way down uh, this lawn. And as the water recedes, some of that water then remains in these overbank pools, such as the one that I'm standing in here. And what we really don't know and don't understand at the moment is to what extent the pollution in these discharge events is getting concentrated in these pools, particularly as they evaporate over the coming weeks, um, and also to what extent they might be posing a threat to the free roaming livestock, the ponies and the cattle that will be drinking uh, from these pools, and potentially people's dogs as well. This is a popular dog walking area, and lots of dogs go running through these pools and, and drink from them. So although the river's monitored and most of the material flushes out uh, to the Solent and the open sea, we just don't know how much pollution is getting concentrated in these pools and other environments adjacent to the river and what impact it might be having on the ecosystem. Well I hope this short video will uh, provide further awareness of this issue in the new forest and what the potential impacts might be on the, uh, the wildlife and the habitats here. If you're interested in finding out more about it then go to the Wild New Forest website. We've recently put an update on our blog where you can read what's being uh, done to tackle this issue both in the new forest and, uh, and nationally. Um, but that's it for now. Thank you very much for listening and uh, hope to see you again in the forest soon.